I thought those contractions were hard. Little did I know what I was in for. <laughs> Most of you, if not all of you, have seen the birth video of Indy. The video is beautiful and there's music. Everyone said in that video their favorite part was Avalyn meeting Indy for the first time. Or my favorite part too. Yeah, so good. With that video being so beautiful, we wanted to give the real, the full story. I don't know if this is a good idea. Bryce had the camera on a tripod in the corner and he watched all the footage. And he's like, you should watch this. And so you're watching this the first time that Nelly is watching this, the raw footage, not the beautiful video that Telebirds put together. And another reason I want to do this is to just tell the full story. Just for people, oh, oh, do you have a tutus? Okay. So with my first birth, I had an epidural. Everything went great until the last push and I tore multiple places super deep and my recovery was Horrible. With this birth, my doctor was like, oh, we'll induce you a week early, we'll give you an epidural so we can stretch you out, and I was like, cool. But something just didn't sit right with me, and this is not for every birth, this is just my experience. I decided to switch to a midwife, and I wanted to try unmedicated. We went to the hospital, we were admitted. Can't tell, but I'm smiling really big right now. We had the masks on, they tested Nelly for COVID, and... So fun. I was progressing, I was dilated, I like facing all the things were happening. And then that brings us to this point here. Nelly's handling this like a champ. We'll see how long that lasts. How are you feeling? Just, you know, having a baby. Just having a baby. You had a lot of contractions back to back and now there's this little so calm moment. Ooh, now I gotta pee. You labored for how long? I think it was like six hours, but they started dying down. We had to make a choice. My midwife came in and she was like, you can stay here, we can break your water, we can give you Pitocin, or we can give you some morphine and you can go home and try to get some sleep. Okay. Okay. Someone partied hard. After that, I feel like Nelly had like switched to another level. I'm not going in until it's yeah, go no, time. I really did. Like no. we might have the baby in the car. <laughs> One, I didn't want to get admitted and have like a million IVs stuck in me for me to get them pulled out. I hate needles. And two, yeah, it was not comfortable in the hospital. Like you, I wasn't allowed to walk around. Like I couldn't eat. I wish I was here in our bed, which is so comfortable, you guys. Okay, real quick though, for reals. Shout out to Purple Mattress because when you just delivered a baby out of your hoo-ha and you leave those hard hospital beds to have a comfortable bed. Life-changing for everybody. Well, one, anybody who just likes to sleep. But if you are pregnant or you just had a baby, this thing is mm -hmm. like your go-to. We went to like every effort to prep for this baby because last baby recovery, Nelly was like on so the couch bad. forever. They shipped it to us. Oh my goodness. I carried our other bed from the RV up and down just fine. How do I do this? Do I just do it this way? <laughs> oh, no. oh. Two more of those. Oh, oh my. It's so... No! Oh. Ow. Oh. Watch out, Evie! Oh my gosh, I am. So, I want it to be nighttime right now. This is so nice. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we went to Purple Mattress. They have a display place in Lehigh, Utah. We're laid on every bed. Yeah, we're laid on every bed. Why don't we have this now? Why? I'm like a little bit mad that we waited so long. When you're laying on a mattress, if you feel your shoulder like pushing up into you and okay. on your side, I just thought that's how it always would be. But on this mattress, I don't feel that. Like my shoulder sinks in but it holds my core, my hip sinks in, and it holds my legs up. Uh, anyway, yeah, we love yeah, this bed. Yeah. Back to our story. So then I start to get contractions and tells me, hey, you should probably get some sleep. This is days later. And it's about midnight, and Bryce still is in bed. I slept I'm doing some hour. work still, and she comes up and says, you need to get some sleep, because I think it's happening. So, so, as a nice wife that I am, I let Bryce sleep, and I labor all the way until 7 a.m. Oh. The hospital a little bit after 8 a.m. and I'm like at a 7 so I didn't get to use the laboring tub which I was really sad about and the moment she broke my water my next contraction was like horrible and I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna make it through this oh fudge buckets. <laughs> that's the worst you've got is fudge buckets. 
<laughs> Sorry for noise this... language. Fudge buckets over here. <laughs> the ball helped? Yeah, the ball was awesome. Then we put you in that one position on the bed where you're like sitting. So it's the throne position. Holy oh, Father, help me please. Uh, I'm so tired. And oh my gosh. Anytime I went through contraction, I was like, Bryce! And it, he was like instantly all on my. The knees helped a ton. Yeah, that was nice for me too because I actually felt like I was doing something to help versus being like, I enjoyed helping you make this baby. You got this. My favorite was my lower back. You know, like those where the little dimples are, like in your back, like right by your bum? Those are like where you push. Push in there. My second favorite was my knees. Not your feet at all? No, not really. That hurt my thumb so bad. Sorry. Like two hours of <laughs> I don't want to speak for you, but one thing that I think helped you most from Renee telling you, as the contractions come, don't picture it as pain. Mm. Picture it as a wave that you're Go riding pressure. and you're, the wave is opening you up. Yeah. So, so she let said it like open to you up. Envision, like to envision the baby coming out further and further. Another thing that helped, I think that helped the most, was that when you get to the point where you say, I can't do this anymore, that's when the baby's gonna come. Should we and get that's to that? exactly what happened. Should we go there? Oh, this makes me feel like I got the poop. Yeah, good. It's that's good. a good sign. Oh. I want to hear that. Good. Oh, I didn't like that feeling. You <laughs> <laughs> see me shaking my thumbs? <laughs> when you finally stopped, I was like, <sighs> like, Poor I Bryce know. over here hurting his thumbs while his wife's having a baby. But my thumb like cramped up I mean, during helped. one of them and I was like, mm, if she can birth a baby. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a professional gamer. You had complained about your thumbs. I think I would have dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bryce! Uh, uh, I kind of want to pass out. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm Wait, wait, did you notice, notice Brie pull up the handrail? She's like, okay, I'm putting this up. <laughs> okay, so Brie uh, was the one that filmed her birth and she gave me her hand. Later she showed me after the birth, she saw claw marks in her hand for me like, gripping the death out of it. She's so sweet. Yeah, she's there to take photos and video and, and in that moment she knew I'm pushing on Nellie's knees and so Bria just grabs her hand. I do want to explain something though. The gagging right there, the pain was so bad. You have to say like pain, like it takes your breath away. The pain literally took my breath away where I could not breathe through my low moaning anymore. It was just like, like there's so much going on down there, like pressure everywhere. It was like hard to even focus on one thing. So it was like, I literally feel like I was gonna explode down there. Oh, I can't get her out. That is the only way I could breathe through the pain was to scream. That's the only way I could breathe. I'm not even kidding. And I'm, I'm like screaming out versus breathing in because that was like the easiest thing I could do. That full explosion of pain that I've never experienced took me by so much surprise that like I didn't like know what to do like I wasn't I just could not focus I can recall every moment of that like I know exactly how it felt like I remember exactly what I was envisioning like what my body was doing I love that sound of the baby crying. That's such a relief. And I'm oh, like man. apologizing to everyone because I know I was crazy, but in the moment I did care that I was crazy. Oh man, that's like such a relief that baby's out, wife still has color on her skin, she's okay, and then you're like, breathe, breathe, breathe. It's so nice. Uh, I just remember being so happy. Avalyn was seven pounds six, and 20 inches. Yeah. Indy's seven 
pounds, five ounces, 19 and a half inches, born at 10, 11 a.m. So, on our Instagram, we still need to find out who was the closest. We had people guess what time and weight and length and name, and whoever's closest, we were gonna send them something. So, if you guess that, and you can prove it to us, Hit us up, but we're going to be searching through all the Instagram stories that we were tagged in and posts. And I just want to say, if you are a nurse or a doctor of some type, or if you're just in the delivery room, it goes a long way. Like afterwards, the nurses were like, you did such a good job. Like you need validation because you just delivered a baby and it feels so nice to be like, you did great. Even though I was a complete psychopath with my yelling, I feel like. <laughs> it was just great. nice to like hear that. And the nurses were so good. Everybody was calm, letting me scream. No judgment. Yelling your fudge um, buckets. Yelling my fudge buckets, swear words. Oh, yeah. I feel like relief just watching me deliver that baby. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. So maybe it's good to upload and then you can watch it anytime you're like, I'm about to do something difficult and you watch this. And this like, is not every birth either. Yeah. There's so many women who like don't feel as much pain or it's like they don't scream at all. Yeah, this like, was just my experience. After birth, your body releases so much hormones and the relaxing hormones that it just feels so so nice after. It's like one of the best feelings. It's kind of like when I was on morphine. <laughs> like I'm, I'm serious. It was just like, it just felt so good. <laughs> uh, like I wish that moment lasted longer. Even though this probably looks really horrific, I would 100,000% I'm probably gonna go natural again because of just like control over my body, the peace I feel after my, like I was able to go up and get to the bathroom by myself. My recovery has been awesome. Like. I just, if any of you are scared and be like, wow, that looks horrific. It just, for me, was so worth it and so like spiritual and peaceful and- I don't even know what I said to you guys, I'm sure. I almost, you didn't cuss. You didn't. I almost did. You said fudge buckets at one point. <laughs> you guys, I did it. Yeah. Like a psycho, but I did it. No, we did it. Gracefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mamas out there are amazing. I love this day. I know that I don't deserve to say that. I didn't go through that, you but can love this day. So much saw peace, your wife guys. Such a psycho. But the peace after, it's like. Yeah, I just love moments like this because there's a blanket of peace, and that's when you know that what is happening is true and real and important and more than just about this life. So on earth, so I love that. Whew. And they're both healthy. Yes. Is it indie?